Hey YouTube, Dr. Sean here with another optimizing video. This time I want to talk about a study that just came three days ago that shows indications for cognitive decline are, are actually revealed. You can discern them in MRIs and CTs of the legs through basically deposition of fat. So I'm going to show you how these fatty streaks in the muscles that I'm always talking about, if you don't know me, I'm talking about it along with visceral fat, how it now is associated with cognitive decline. Okay, and stick with me in this video. I'm going to show you not only cognitive decline, I'm going to show you how it degrades the quality of your life, and I'm going to show you video of sprinting. Okay, people that have these things, these fatty streaks, they can't sprint as well as people without them. So stay with this video so you can see this cool. I've not, I have not shown these videos before, so be good for you to see. So in this study, they followed 70 year olds to 79 for about 10 years, and they tracked how much visceral, I'm sorry, fatty streaks they had in their muscle, represented by this purple here. And the ones that had the least amount of fatty infiltration, these fat streaks in their muscle, had the highest amount of cognitive scoring. And the ones that had the most amount of these fatty streaks um, had the greatest decline in their cognitive capabilities. In other words, cognitive decline was associated with the amount of fat that gets deposited in your muscles. So you don't want these fatty streaks in the muscle. This is called human marbling, and I've talked about it before. If you see marble steak, those animals are sick. If you got marbling in your skeletal muscle, you're sick. Okay, you don't want it. I talk about this. I'm trying to get it out there. Please share it with other people. Warn your family members and warn other doctors. They are ignoring this all day long. Millions of studies are being done and they're being completely ignored. So let me get into how, where this is coming from, the relationship. They didn't get into it in the study, but Dr. Sean has, because I got 13 years of looking at studies and looking at visceral fat and following. So I figured out some things that haven't been figured out yet. I'm ahead of, of uh, uh, AI. I just saw AI came out and did a study, it took them you know, just one month ago, took them all this time, AI, to figure out that these fatty streaks uh, right here, double your risk for mortality. And I'm going to get into that study a little bit later, but no, Dr. Sean figured that out for the National Science Foundation um, almost uh, eight years ago. So <laughs> we, we saw this. So um, we, we were ahead and we didn't need some computer to figure out what did we do. We just paid attention to who looked bad, who walked bad, who performed bad, who had a lot of disease. And we asked the question, why? And we didn't see that it was related to lipids or cholesterol. It's related to fat, bad fat in your body, particularly visceral fat. So when you have a lot of this white stuff in the middle, you're going to have a lot of the white stuff in your legs. OK, I'm going to show you some video coming up and uh, some sprinting, how this white stuff degrades your ability to, to, to sprint and degrades, therefore, your performance, how you perform, how you look. OK, you're going to see this guy running, okay, trying to sprint as fast as he can, okay? This guy is a sprinter, an Olympic sprinter, real deal. And look, he has like none of those fatty streaks in his legs. That's what you want to look like. So the, the more of these you have, the less functional you are, the less healthy you are, um, the less you can perform. And the fewer of these, the better off you are. So we'll take a look at that. And let's do a free frame, okay? Remember the the guy in this particular image here had all this visceral fat and all his streaks, uh, fatty streaks. Well, let's take a look at his stride, okay? You can analyze performance. Dr. Sean is getting the MRIs. Dr. Sean is getting the skin markers. Now I'm getting into photography. I'm tracking how people run and I'm analyzing. And this is me figuring this out, okay? I haven't gone anywhere else. This is just my eyes, okay? Paying attention. Here's what I found. Right here, this metric. Simple, okay? How high you drive your foot up correlates to health. I put my money on this and not cholesterol. Vegan doctors, you paying attention to this? Dr. Sean's putting his reputation on this marker, okay? It's free, it's simple, costs you no money. And you can improve it quickly and track it. So you get a freeze frame of, a, of you sprinting in the middle of it and you analyze it. How high do you get that foot correlates to how functional you are, how well you perform. How well you perform is predicated on how much visceral fat you have. And the influence of that visceral fat 
degrades your functional performance and your appearance. So this guy has a lot of visceral fat in his abdomen. We showed you a scan before, his MRI, um, but he's got very little height to that. He can barely raise his knee. And we'll take a look at um, my, my stance, okay? Uh, here's Dr. Sean here. Look how high I get my foot up, okay? And we'll take a, take a picture. I'll do some video. It won't be a picture. A video of me sprinting and then my client sprinting so you can see that difference. But do you see that gait? These angles tell the story of functional health, okay? We just got to pay attention to it. When you see a great Olympic sprinter, a great sprinter, it's very inspiring. They're healthy. They're doing a good job. Well, we should analyze why do they do It's not just skills. It's health. It's physiology. We, we tend to look at great performances as just skill but you're forgetting health, you're forgetting biology, which helps you do way more. So it's not just getting skills and practicing, but how healthy you are. So let's take a look uh, at my skin. Now look how fast I can sprint, okay? That's pretty good for a 60 year old guy, all right? So I sprint hard, I sprint fast, I drive my knees up and I'm raising that foot up high. Well, let's take a look at my client who first arrived, uh, who got one of my, my plans and worked with me. And let's take a look at his sprinting. So he's, he's, he's coming towards us and this is as fast as he can run. He barely gets his knees up. Look how little he can barely get his feet up, okay? That's as sprinting. That's as fast as he can sprint, okay? So you could analyze how well you're performing. It gives you an idea on how healthy you are. Just pay attention because Dr. Sean's definition of health doesn't use cholesterol and laboratory numbers. I just use health and performance. And we can quantify it. You can actually quantify health metric, biometrics, and you can quantify performance, key performance indicators. But it's basically that simple. How, how healthy you are is predicated on how well you look, how good you look, and how good you perform. All right, so here's the study. And let me see if I can blow that up a little bit so you can maybe screen shoot that. And you can take a look at increase in skeletal muscle adiposity and cognitive decline and biracial cohort of older men and women. It's published, just came out, um, and it, it's, it's, it's published, and you, you can take a look, uh, look at that and uh, uh, pull it uh, from the Journal of American Geriatric Society, okay? All right, the other thing I want to share with you are, what do you got to do? How can you help yourself, okay? So uh, I have pinned in my Instagram account these same strategies at the top and actually a few more but you can screen shoot this, what you can do to help improve your overall health, improving your appearance and your performance, these particular interventions. So share this video with somebody you care about, somebody who's aging, somebody who's young. I mean, they're still going to be aging when they're young, but the idea is educate them about these things so they can pay attention. If you have ever had a CT or an MRI of your legs, your arms, your shoulders, you can take a look, you can ask for those studies, and you read these fatty streaks. You need to pay attention to them. You need to pull them and take a look. You don't want any of them, and the fewer you have, the better off you are. The more you have, the worse off you are. And they won't be read by the doctor. The radiologist doesn't read it, your doctor won't read it, and it's a, it's a crime, in my opinion. It's a shame, because it really is that important of a biomarker. But they're not educated about it. And I wasn't either. I was one of those doctors. I didn't learn about it. It's not taught in medical school. I had to figure it out on my own. I didn't take some, I didn't open up a book. Dr. Sean just did studies. Okay. And it, and what's driving me is a passion. It's an insatiable fire to try to figure out what we have to do to biologically optimize. That's what I love to do. So if you're somebody and you're interested in becoming biologically optimized, I'd be interested in talking to you. So you can go to my website, www.drshawnomara.com, D-R-S-E-A-N-O-M-A-R-A.com. Can't work with everybody. I am overwhelmed. I got lots of people after me work with me, but I'm looking for really motivated people who can afford to do these MRIs and get these scans, okay? So go to my website, take a look, and see if you'd be interested in working with me. All right, well, that's, um, that's what, I, what I have for you today. Um, as always, if you like this video, smash that button. The more likes I get, the more this gets shared with other people. You can literally potentially save a life or multiple lives by liking this thing to get other people to be aware about the dangers of visceral fat 
and myosteatosis, these fatty infiltrates uh, that are in muscles. So do your part to help save lives and improve quality of lives by liking this video and share it with other people. The more it gets shared, also the better the algorithm goes, that you, YouTube will share this more with other people. So um, if you want more information, go to my Instagram account where I have more information shared on there. Uh, pinned at the top about strategies how to optimize. All right, well, thank you very much for watching with this video, and hopefully you stayed to the end, which also helps uh, improve this. And as always, give me some comments. I'm having a hard time keeping up. I'm getting popular. I guess this content is. It's not really me. <laughs> so, um, but I, I am trying the best I can to set up these comments, but, you know, uh, please share comments and, uh, and, then, um, and then do the same thing in my Instagram account. All right, well, thank you very much, and we'll see you on another Health Optimizing Video. Dr. Sean out.